Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to talk about conditional testing. Now usually it's an anti-pattern, your test should know exactly what to look for. But sometimes it's impossible, so I have a bunch of conditional testing examples on my Cypress example site that I will link in the description of this video. Ok, imagine we have a list of people. Right now it has two elements. We can get this list of items get this length and confirm it should be either 0 or 2. It works when there are two elements. What happens if there are no or zero elements? Well, the get command has a built-in existence assertion. So it keeps trying to find the actual elements. If you want to disable the built-in existing assertion, you should attach, pun intended, a callback function with should. Uh, you can pass an empty callback function. And in this case, even if the elements are not found, well, it yields a jQuery object, its length is zero, so the assertion passes. Cypress has low dash included, so this callback function that does nothing is included with low dash, it's called null. Now this works because the page is static, but a very common problem is when the elements are loaded dynamically. Let's move to the next example. And in this example, if you look at this source code, we start with an empty unordered list element. And then sometimes in half of the chances, we will add two elements. But we will add it only after a timeout. Imagine we're loading it from the server. So sometimes we will load two items, sometimes we will load zero items. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I will try to get the elements and then I will use knob to disable the built-in existing assertion and confirm the length. Now notice it passed but it says the length was zero even though we clearly see two items. Now you guess why because when you hover over its length notice there were zero matched elements, the assertion was disabled so length was zero. And you see the DOM at that moment was still empty because the timeout the application still hasn't finished loading. This is a very common case. You're trying to do conditional testing, but you don't consider all the states of your application. Your application doesn't start with items either there or not. Your application starts with loading the data and then it goes into the state where the items are either there or not. If you just check right away, the application is still loading the data, so it's meaningless to ask how many items are there. So what can we do instead? Well, you need a way to somehow know when application finished loading the data, so then you can check and do conditional testing. In this case, our application is setting an attribute on the list. So the easiest thing for us to do is to first get a lie element with that attribute set to true. So we're going to use the attribute selector. Now this element will retry and retry, this get will retry and retry until it finds the element. Once we found the element, then we'll find li elements inside of it. And they could be there or there might not be any LI elements. And that's why we disable the built-in existence assertion inside the sci find. Okay, let's see this in action. So notice again, there was a delay while it did not find data loaded, then it found it, and then there were two elements. Let's run it again. In this case, there was a delay until data loaded attribute was set to true. Then we checked LI elements. In this case, there were really no LI elements. And so the length was correctly zero. Again, zero, two. Okay, so make sure when you do conditional testing that you check at the right moment. Worse comes to worse, if there is no data loaded attribute, well, what can you do? I know it's a bad practice, but if there is nothing observable, you can add sci weight and then check the DOM after you know for sure the data is there. Okay, find this example and more at my Cypress example site.